Good morning, Kelloland. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Two people wanted in connection with a double homicide in Rapid City have been found in Sioux Falls. Authorities found Aaron Provencial and Rochelle Janice at an apartment on the east side of Sioux Falls Wednesday morning. Police in Rapid City want to question them about an August 20th shooting that left two people dead. During the search, Sioux Falls police also located Rudolph Gabe, who allegedly escaped from prison. Sioux Falls police are investigating a shooting that sent two teenagers to the hospital. Early Wednesday morning, officers responded to the east side of the city near Meldrum Park for reports of gunshots. When police arrived, several vehicles left, including a pickup truck. That truck later arrived at the hospital with a 14-year-old and 17-year-old with gunshot wounds. Both boys are expected to survive. Investigators say neither of them is cooperating with authorities. At least one of them gave us a few different versions about what happened when the officers, uh, they ended up finding some shell casings, I think it was near 5th Street and Lewis Avenue, and he was claiming that it happened someplace else, and when they asked him about the shell casings that were found, he basically said he wasn't talking anymore and didn't give any information. Clemens asked if anyone has surveillance video in the area or knows what happened to call police or Crime Stoppers. An 18-year-old Sioux Falls woman is out on bond after allegedly being caught stealing from cars. This theft was caught on Corey Geyer's home security camera. When he got an alert notification on his phone, he sprang into action, chasing the woman down the street. When he caught up with her, she allegedly pulled a knife on him. That's when he tackled her and knocked the knife out of her hand. So I'm fighting her off and she's kicking and screaming and biting and scratching and, you know, punching and everything. And, and I got 911 on the line and I let him know, you know, come to my street. Geyer says police got there within five minutes and made the arrest. Renan and Antonio faces four charges, including aggravated assault. Turning to weather now with meteorologist Scott Munt. Could see some hot temps today, Scott. We are looking at a very warm or hot day today. Temperatures in the 90s, even a chance for 100 degree heat across the plains of western South Dakota. In fact, Phillip is in our forecast to hit 100 for today. 96 in Pier in Rapid City, 91 in Sioux Falls and Aberdeen. And Brian will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Today's hot temperatures are impacting schools in Rapid City. Because there's no air conditioning in the buildings, 13 schools will be releasing at 1 o'clock Mountain Time this afternoon. School district officials say some students reported experiencing dizziness, nausea, and other symptoms inside these buildings yesterday. They include Robbinsdale, Pinedale, and South Canyon Elementaries and North and South Middle Schools. A plan to turn a golf course south of Sioux Falls into a public campground for Good Earth State Park might not happen. On Wednesday, South Dakota Game Fish and Parks received an update on the Spring Creek project. Division of Parks and Recreation Director Scott Simpson says homeowners along the golf course were adamant in opposing uh, overnight camping, but were very open to converting it to a natural area. The South Dakota Parks and Wildlife Foundation bought the course and intended to transfer ownership to GFMP in October 2024. Capital News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer takes a look at the options for the project with this story right here on Kelloland.com. A new exhibit at the Children's Museum of South Dakota has kids learning what it takes to be a veterinarian. The new vet clinic inside the Children's Museum in Brookings has quickly become a popular attraction for kids who like animals. They can care for several stuffed animals by giving them shots, checking their x-rays, or bandaging them up. I like to play with um, the dogs and the cats because I get to like um, pretend that um, like they get hood or something. And My favorite part about the vet is all the stuffed animals and the like cages and stuff. While designing the exhibit, the museum took input from kids and allowed them to have a say in what kind of equipment was used. Well, speaking of animals, Kelloland's Pet Food Drive kicks off tomorrow. Your donations will help feed the animals at the Sioux Falls Area Humane Society. You can drop off food and pet supplies outside of Kelloland Media Group from 7 to 2 on Friday. Lewis will be accepting donations Saturday through Labor Day. You know, we did... 8,800 pounds last year just in one day at Kello, so I think we're going to reach over 10,000 pounds this year.
The Humane Society prefers Purina dog, puppy, and cat chow. For kittens, the shelter prefers Purina healthy kitten formula. You can also drop off pet supplies such as towels or leashes. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather today. Well, looking at those temperatures climbing through the 90s here by uh, mid to late afternoon, I would expect Pier area pretty close to 100 within a few degrees of that. Phillip probably will hit 100 today. And uh, Aberdeen and Sioux Falls right there at the low 90s. Now tonight there is a passing frontal boundary that's going to switch around the wind to the northwest. Will we get a shower out of that? Maybe daybreak tomorrow morning. You know, Watertown to Huron. We'll keep watching that to see if there's anything that sparks there. If it does, it's not going to be much. It'll likely come through fairly quickly. And Sioux Falls will have a chance to hit about 90 one more time. And then the winds, as they go around to the northwest in the afternoon, that'll begin the shift in the weather. And it actually looks pretty refreshing on Saturday morning. I think Saturday we're going to have lows in the 50s, highs in the 70s east. I expect, though, that's a temporary cool down. We'll begin to warm up as we wrap up Labor Day weekend into Monday itself. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday, here comes summer heat again. And that's going to last most of next week, so we are not done. However, as you watch to the northwest, a little question mark there. There is a pattern change coming. A lot of things to sort out for timing, intensity of some cooler weather. Do we get some rain out of that? Well, stay tuned. We'll have more information in the coming days. Highs today, 94 in Yankton, a hot afternoon. 90 tomorrow, Sioux Falls, cooling to 78 Saturday, 81 on Sunday. So there you go. Some nicer weather there for the weekend. Numbers for Aberdeen, 77 Saturday, 84 Sunday. So like Sioux Falls, we get a cool down, but very little rain chances. You know, with these temperatures going back and forth, we uh, normally would have at least something more to talk about. But at this point, it's still dry. Pier 2, mid-90s, we're kind of stuck in a hot, dry pattern next week. Obviously, we'll keep watching the effects of that. And Rapid City, 90-degree weather returns by Sunday and Monday. Check out our website, kettleland.com, for more details.